Hey there everyone, I have here all the code that I wrote in the previous video, the setup and the parsing of the reddit posts and now what I want to do is to handle the pagination of it. So first off I'm going to go in the old reddit uh, website, I have here opened the node.js subreddit and here's what we want to do. We want to scroll a bit down, in this list we have about 25 posts as seen from the previous video and then I want to be able to specify that I want 60 or 70 or 100 uh, recent posts and the scraper to automatically go to the next page, get as many as uh, it needs and then return them back. So basically I want to be able to handle the pagination also. So here's what I want to do. Firstly I want to go back in the code and take this part right here create another function that uh, is named parse results because I want to separate it and this is basically going to handle only the parsing and I'm going to paste that in just like that and this is basically going to return us the parsed results from any page so we are going to use it inside of this main function and right here I'm going to have an array of let results equals empty and I'm going to make a do while loop while results dot length is lower or equal to number so right here I'm going to have another variable named new results for example and I'm going to await self dot parse results so that I can get the actual parsed results from the current page and right here I'm going to append them to the main uh, results uh, variable and I'm going to do this results equals results and then I'm going to append the new results okay so in the next part of the code we want to check if we are able to click on the next page button and to actually click it if the new results if the whole results are still less than what we need. So first thing we want to go in the browser and check out the actual uh, query selector for this next button. So as you can see we have a span with the class of next button and then we have an a href. We need to handle this actual query selector. I'm going to build it quickly right here. So we want a span with the class of next button and then we want the actual a href that has the rel equals no follow next and i messed up right here something selector okay good hit enter as you can see we have this element which means the query works i'm going to copy this go back in the code and right here i want to make another if statement if the results dot length are still less than number then we want to click on the actual next page button and I'm going to do that by saying let next page button equals to await self dot page and I'm going to use the query selector that we got and then I'm going to check if the next page button actually exists so if next page button then I want to click on it just like this and also right here we don't have to have the equal sign okay now if the next page button doesn't exist then we are going to break out of the do while loop so break and also what we want to do is to make sure the page has been loaded so after we clicked on the next page button, we want to make sure the page has been loaded. So I'm going to say await page dot wait for navigation. And again, I'm going to say wait until network idle zero. Okay. And also we want to return the items and I'm going to say return results dot slice. And we are slicing them because for example, if you ask for 30 results, 
then it's going to go to the next page and it's going to return 50 results because on the first page there are 25 and the next page another 25 so we want to make sure to splice them up so i'm going to say here number okay hit save and let's try it out and see if it works start it up opens up the reddit page okay but nothing happens let's check the debug console okay so we have a problem results.slice is not a function okay i'm going to stop this okay oh i see yeah my bad right here we have to make sure it's an array and not an object let's start it up again And let's see what we have. Debug console, page is not defined. Oh, right here we also have to have self.page. And it's going to the next page, which is good. And stopping in the debugger. Let's return the results and see what we have. An array of 30 objects. Pretty cool. So we have the author name and everything that we wanted. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Looking good. So as you can see, if we go back, this get results function is not that uh, complicated. You can easily do it yourself. But yeah, I know it depends on the actual website that you want to scrape because some of them have uh, different pagination styles, infinite loaders, and yeah this is basically it guys thank you for watching and if you like the video please subscribe hit that like button because it helps me a lot thank you again for watching peace out